Speaking for a lot of Alabama fans at the time, Hal Raines wrote a tribute to Paul Bear Bryant in the New Republic after the 1982 season, saying, on December 29th, I watched the broadcast of Bryant's last game. After 25 years in the stands, in front of television sets, and hunched over radios in distant cities where the signal from home was almost too faint to hear, I am tempted to announce my retirement as an Alabama fan. It can, after all, never be as good again. And for many years, it seemed Reigns was right. A national title did come in 1992, but afterwards, it only seemed Bama had made a deal with the devil and mostly incompetence and ineptitude prevailed with losing seasons and multiple NCAA sanctions, including nearly the death penalty in 2002. Finally, on January 4, 2007, the Crimson Sea was seemingly parted and Nick Saban landed as Alabama's football coach. On the morning of the announcement, I boldly proclaimed Saban would win a national title in four seasons. I was wrong. He won his first title for the Tide in just three. Saban did it his own way, which was really the only way it could be done at Alabama. Every coach who followed Bryant, including Gene Stallings, a former player and protege, could never get away from the suffocating Bryant shadow. But Saban never blinked an eye at what had come before him, only what would lie ahead. After the first title over Texas in 2009, I remember talking to him at an event a week later. After the perfunctory congratulations, Saban went on a rant. It was a great win, he said, but it cost me a week in recruiting that we can't get back. The celebration, the parade, the trip to the White House were all great. But that was for everyone else. Saban was already thinking about the next one. Even after six at Alabama, plus another at LSU, eclipsing the Bears' all-time record, it never seemed to be enough. Even as he raced through his late 60s, quashing talk of retirement with more domination, and even past 70, the desire to win never waned. It appeared the only thing that could stop Saban was one of his own creations his longtime assistant coach, Kirby Smart. But this past December in Atlanta, Tell the coach, appreciate all you did for me. Alabama derailed the Georgia train. And while most were focused on Alabama leapfrogging Florida State, people close to Saban pointed to that win as being one of the most significant and satisfying of his legendary career. Instead of the world talking about Smart's three-peat, it was Saban who had once again commanded center stage. Nick Saban perfect against Georgia in SEC championship games. And to think that four decades ago, many wondered if Alabama would ever be relevant again, let alone looking down at the rest of college football.